So today, I want to take a look at a few themes that are available through the Emulation Station themes gallery, download manager, whatever you want to call it, which is available through RetroPi. You don't have to do nothing crazy. This is a simple just boot up your Raspberry Pi, go into the RetroPi setup and download these bad boys. So real easy, awesome themes that weren't originally available to download through the RetroPi, and now they are. So instead of going on and on about it, how about we just dive in and take a look. Boom. So let's go ahead and take a look at these new themes that are available on the Emulation Station Theme Manager. So before we look at them, I'm going to show you where you can install them and how to get prepared to install them because you might need to do a couple steps. Nothing major, but let's take a look. Go to RetroPie or Configuration screen. Go down to RetroPie Setup. Now, once that little fella's booted up, you're gonna go in here and go ahead and update your RetroPie Setup script. Mine has already been updated, so I'm not gonna do that. The other thing you might wanna do as well is go to Manage Packages, Manage Core Packages, and update emulation station. So you can go ahead and do that. Once you've done those, you're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and go back, back. Once you've done that, you might wanna perform a reboot as well. I've already done these steps, so just wanted to throw that out there. You might need to do that. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to ES themes. But before we go into there, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these. So the one we're in is just comic book theme. We've seen it plenty of times, pretty cool theme, but let's go ahead and take a look at the newest themes that have been added to the ES themes library that you can download through RetroPie. Nothing crazy you gotta do, easy peasy. So I've already got them installed and I'll show you how to install them in a moment, but in UI settings, let's go ahead and open this up. So the ones we're looking at today that are freshly installed are gonna be Hertzy Blue, Retro-Rama and Steampunk. Retro-Rama has been continually improved by Phil's Doodles. Really awesome theme. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. We've looked at it a few times previously. There's added systems, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at these other ones first. So Steampunk, go ahead and get that set. Back out and let it load up. Let's go ahead and get out of there. So Steampunk, really, really unique look here, in my opinion. So I don't have a, every system installed on here, but you kind of get the idea. You, you have that, that vertical um, wheel of your systems, very similar to like an attract mode build. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and open this up. And these all support video. I don't have video on this, but it looks like once you go into UI settings, you can change that to video. You could change, you know, whatever you got on there for different options instead of video. You you can get your your box art if that's what you have it set up as. I have another setup that I got with video snaps on there, but this one I don't. But you can have video snaps, so that's really cool. Kind of this, this, it, it just kind of, you know, this is the first I'm looking at this, this theme. Actually, I've seen it before, but um, for it being recently thrown onto the, the, the download setup through RetroPie, I haven't installed it. This is the first time I'm looking at it. I installed it, decided I'm going to record a video and take a look. So I'm looking at this fresh. This is my first, first look at it. So I'm, I'm thinking this is pretty cool. This is pretty unique. It looks like what I was going to get at was the display screen. It's really meant for video because my box art that I have set up on here, everything's squished. So this looks like it would be optimal for a video setup. But, you know, if you don't mind the box art or if you change it to like a, a still screenshot of gameplay, you know, that would work. But if you have box art, it looks like you get a little squishy squish action here. 
it's not not too big a deal but just wanted to point that out but that's cool i like the uh the little setup there the way that looks the image that we got going on very very neat looking you know very uh smooth very reminiscent of attract mode the thing you know people like attract mode but a lot of people like emulation station instead because it's just simple and easier to use doesn't take up as much resources and this is really looking slick right here man david marty is the man he knows what he's doing here so this this looks pretty good this looks pretty good let's go ahead and take a look at our next one which is an, an oldie but a goodie um and it hasn't it's just recently been available as a, a standalone you know it was part of uh the motion blue setups and whatnot but now this has been thrown on on the es themes for you to download if you wanted to get it before it was a thing where you had to rip it and throw it on your setup yourself so this is a lot easier now so let's go ahead and take a look at that go ahead and back out sometimes it takes a moment to load no big deal no big deal so there we go very familiar we a lot of us are familiar with this but it's really nice that it's available to easily download and use And this as well really you know meant for for video snaps but it, it works with your box art as well really cool stuff you know a lot of people like using the video snaps on the the es themes that that utilize that i don't have full you know everything set up that way like i said i do have another build that has a lot of systems with video snaps just haven't gotten around to adding all of them yet but i'm kind of mixed on that it just really depends you know this theme and the steampunk theme it, really if i'm going to run these i need to make sure i got my video snaps on here because these would look awesome with video snaps that's all i got to say about that but pretty awesome pretty awesome stuff name I guess I may have to go in if I'm going to use this and change that to arcade if there is an arcade wheel because this right here main all my stuff I have in here is uh, set up for e either FBA or or main and I usually like to have that in the arcade folder so that's that's the Hertz blue that a lot of us are familiar with but hey one to take a look and then the last one that is now available to easily be downloaded and used, Retro-Rama. Well, easily one of my top favorites. But all three of these that we're looking at are just amazing. That Steampunk, I might, I might wind up having to use that. And here we go with the, the newly updated version of Retro-Rama. Pretty cool stuff right here. Love this art style just you know i can't say it enough but phil's doodles he, he he does a lot of awesome work with 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 these themes and his artwork that he does on the side got some custom stuff some new new artwork he's done for me that's going to be out there on my channel pretty soon and just really appreciative of what he has done this is all drawn by him which is just so freaking amazing you know i don't want to be just non-stop you know praising the guy but just look at this freaking amazing go buy one of his shirts with this image on there i ordered this one this one's pretty cool i got a shirt coming that has that on there as well so don't know what's why it's tripping out now but there we go so just wanted to highlight these themes and this one looks looks really great with the box art the way it's formatted but just wanted to highlight these themes, throw them out there and show you, hey, you can easily download these. So in order to do that, let me go ahead and find the RetroPie setup screen. Oops. So that's Virtual Boy. There's got to be no uh, image for that yet. And what is this one? SG-1000, possibly no image for that as well yet, but he's continually updating this, so he's listening to a lot of 
his uh, feedback out there. So in order to download these, what you're going to do is go to your RetroPie configuration, go to ES Themes, open that bad boy up. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. So once you're in this screen, this is where you're going to install or uninstall, you know, whatever you choose. But this is where all your themes are going to be for ES. So right here, for example, we do have the Steampunk, the Hertzy Blue, and Retro Rama. All you got to do is hit enter on OK. Installs. You are good to go. If these guys wind up updating in the future, bam, you just go on here and update and, you know, get whatever newer stuff is, is on that theme, such as, you know, the added systems and all that kind of good stuff. So let me go ahead and get out of there. Take one quick look at that steampunk theme, just because, and it's so unique. So unique. Just want to take one quick look before we end this. Wow. Awesome. Just awesome stuff. Enough said with that, but go ahead and smash that like button if you could. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Check out my giveaway video. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of retro stuff. Cool stuff that you guys are going to be able to get your hands on if you're a winner, and there's going to be multiple winners. So check that video out. It'll be up here somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere around here. Check that out. Catch you guys next time. Boom.